Welcome to Seminyak Square. I love Seminyak, stayed here many times. Keep watching and we'll show you all around this area. Bike, 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 bike. So, first stop for us today is Seminyak Square, Seminyak Village Shopping Centre. There's H&M, there's so many other stores. Let's go and check it out. It's a cool place to go when you need to get cool. Awesome security guard, keeping everyone safe here in Bath. And you can't bring uh, water bottles to the site. And why is that? I have no idea, but you have to drink your drink or, or hide it. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. When you come in, there's a lot of nice jewellery stalls over here. A lot of really nice, unique jewellery in here that um, you definitely don't find outside. They're very nice. But I own a lot of jewellery as it is. So if you're not in the market for jewellery and you want to spend some money, Steve Madden here. Good shoes. Then of course if you're into Birkenstocks, Bamboo Blonde, which is a chain of dress stores all over Bali and Indonesia. Crocs. Hi, good morning. Good, thank you. We always come here if we need anything. It's just like back at home. It's quite large. And then upstairs, just to show you briefly, there is a beautiful spa if you want to be pampered. No vlogging inside. No vlogging yeah, inside. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Well, come to Seminyak uh, Village. Yeah. There's everything you need here. But anyway, we were before we got uh, <laughs> kicked. That whole section over there at the very top, top floor. It's full of actually nice shirts for men. It's got clothes, women's clothes as well. Yeah. All right. You get the picture. Yeah. Enough of the shopping center. Let's get back out onto the street. The Let's go to where people come to Bali for the streets. For the streets. markets. And the streets. For the markets. Yes. yes. So there's a little market on the corner, just a two-minute walk from here. If you turn right, and in one minute we'll be in the outdoor market. It is another glorious day here in Bali. Of course, it is always. We've been 30 degrees every day here. 30? 32, I think. Humidity is starting to creep up. As you can see, we are sweating, but back home, 16 in Melbourne, so we're happy to be here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome to Bali. Yeah. Oh, Thank welcome you. to Bali and welcome to Seminyak. Seminyak Square Market. Down here, let's just stick our noses in here. There are proper shops as well here on the right. You've got Roxy, Secret Garden, lots of other Quicksilver. But then, of course, look, here you go. So you don't have to travel far to get an undercover mark. And this is one I often forget exists. Oh, look, the matching. Yeah. It would be so cute. It would be cute. So they've got bags, they've got dresses, they've got little souvenirs. A lot of my friends made these personalized surfboards for their kids just with their names on them but is the shopping here in seminex square different to anywhere else no it's not, not really no but if you're staying in Seminyak, you know you have to know where to come so that's why we're showing you today so this is a nice cute little market and there is a much bigger one just down the road I'll show you let's go all right, just to get our bearings over there, we've got Seminyak Square. This is the market section, yeah. and we're still turning right, and we're heading all the way down that way to the market. Excuse me, morning. Yes, what do you have today? Oh, okay, uh, yes. We just sponsored by Orisa, restaurants by this club. Yeah. Where did you come from? Australia. Sorry, let's take it for free. Okay, yeah. thank you. Bye-bye. Open this one, please. Boss, let me explain what you got. Just open up the card, please. That's okay, thank you. Oh, we have to give it back now. Yeah, this is Karma Group. Oh, yeah. This is my resort restaurant. I'm not you, asking you, to stay in a resort. You know, you know Karma Group, bad karma? A very bad group. No. <laughs> Do I win a prize if I scratch it? I don't know, you know. Oh, yeah, probably. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Again, <laughs> it's a long 
If you ever watch if sorry, if you ever watch that, you ever watch that scam video, that's it, Karma Group. So I'm um, walking down the street, and the, one of the beautiful things about Seminyak, Michelle does love, is the, the massage parlors. Yeah. They look like spas. They cost more, and they look prettier, um, which is great. Michelle likes the pretty. You've and got all different ones that aren't so pretty, but you've got beautiful jewelry stores, markets, plus higher end stores. That was so quick. Literally one minute walk from Seminyak Square. And you're here at another market. It's a big one. It's so fine. if you want to find this one on a map, just type in Warong Nina, Google Maps, and it'll bring you straight here. Or well, watch this video, and then you'll figure it out. <laughs> or Damasta. So it's we places come. to eat here as well. Yeah, well, it feels like you're walking into a restaurant, kind of, when you first arrive. Yeah. They actually do um, Indo cooking classes here as yeah. well. Actually, they've got one going on right now. Let's have a quick look. There we go. Look, it's happening as we speak. How cool, huh? Lovely places to eat here. What a fun thing to do. Actually, you know what? We wanted to do it and we haven't did. done it. I think we'll get to it sometime in the future. I like this market. It's called the Flea Market. It's undercover. And of course, you can have a drink here and it's really calm. One of the things I have found with this Flea Market, and you've seen our other videos where we look at you know, prices and what things cost, it's a little bit more expensive here and it's really hard to bring their prices down. Don't know why, but it's just the way it is. I think they're used to people in Seminyak just throwing a little bit more money at them. So sets a culture in a place. But let's have just a quick run through and then we'll get back out to the main street. So how many lanes is it? It's uh, one, two, three, and there's Four a couple lanes. more over the other side as well. And one thing it does have going for it is... Shady, that's why I love it. It's very calm, it's quiet. It is, isn't it? Even the shop owners are relaxed here. Yeah. Which is great, it means you can slow down and have a look at stuff. Yeah. Come over here. So they've got everything that you've seen before on our videos, homewares, pillows, Shirts, dresses, jewellery bags, it's all here in the Seminyak flea market. Mamish, um, I've seen markets before, uh, viewers yep. have seen markets. Yep. Let's get out to Let's head off the, the, the main, main reason street. why we're here is to have a bit of a look oh, at the Seminyak a, Street. Yeah, we're giving you a yeah. tour of Seminyak Streets. So when you come here, you have your bearings and you have an idea of where to come. Because it can be kind of daunting to 100%. be dropped off in the middle of the main road and there's nothing but concrete and buildings and you yes. don't know where to go. Yes? Yes. Exactly. The man agrees. When I first came here, I had no idea of which direction anything was. So no. that's why we're showing you. We've just left that market and we had to have a quick pit stop here just to rehydrate. It really is sticky. It's hot. You know, we've been here for a long time and we're still, you know, Perspiring. A dollar each this cost and yeah, you've got to buy lots of drinks when you're in Bali. Let's keep going. Because we head down the street to turn right and show you this. One of the things I need to highlight about Seminyak, at least some parts of Seminyak, there's no real quick access to the beach. And that's one of the things that I don't love about we, Seminyak. You can walk to the beach from here. You keep walking and you do get to the beach in about 15 minutes by walk that way. Yeah. If you keep following the road around the flea market, you will get to the beach. But oh. then if you're staying in Kuna or Legian or, I don't know, Sanoa, anywhere else around Bali, access to the beach is a lot quicker and a lot easier. Well, it depends where you stay. So I've stayed mm. at the beach, on the beach. Yeah, but that's a rarity. That's if you're staying in a high-end hotel in Seminyak on the beach. Well, I'll definitely recommend that if you love the beach. <laughs> you have access to the Seminyak Boardwalk. Of, of course and you do. Bars. These stores are all over Bali. Pina Colada, I love it because it's so colourful when you come and see the outside. And it's my favourite drink. So if you're looking for something colourful, come to Pina Colada. I came to this day spa once. It's absolutely stunning inside, but the whole time I could hear a rooster. And it was not relaxing really? at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, there must have been a rooster in the back alley. We're back in Seminyak Square corner, and now we're going to turn yeah. right. These shops are really expensive, high-end. So if you're in the market for something original and expensive, definitely come here. And coming up on the right soon should be one of my favourite coffee places called Revolver. I've been to Revolver. Yes, and we went together. Yeah. 
It's one of the few places I do like here in Seminole. This is a good money changer actually, this one. Yes, no commission and uh, it's very open, very transparent. So here we come in here. In the little alley. So, yeah, you'd never find it. Do you want to stop yes. and have a coffee? Oh, I don't know if I want a coffee. Let's stick our head in for a second. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully you get more business. Thank you. Hello. Hello. And of course this place has an awesome upstairs area as well. But you can see why it's really popular. Great place. Thank you so much. This place, Mykonos, been there a few times. It's about 11 o'clock, so this street is really just sort of starting to wake up. Staff are coming out, preparing for their lunch time. Breakfast options here, of course, there's lots. Here on the left is a very high-end Asian fusion Shandy, okay. The thing about Seminyak to know is it's actually a few separate sections. From our understanding, our experience here, there's this main street, which is one one that runs into Seminyak Square. Yeah. And, and then, then another section. We're going to show you. Then there's another section over there, and that's where they've got shooters and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Um, a lot of sort of American style restaurants as well, uh, which is really sort of fun <laughs> food to eat while you're here. Bless you, Michelle. Yeah. And is then if there? we head. Sorry. Can I just show you Pasha here? Stayed here a few times. This is an awesome spot, New Pasha here. Let's show. What is it? Pasha. It's you Pasha. So it's you kiss? You you Pasha. You it's kiss? got a beautiful rooftop pool and it's right cent center of this Seminyak area. So as I was saying back to and the third section is sort of on the border of Legian and that's the section where you've actually got quick access to the beach. Sports bar here. Sports bar here. So you don't just have high-end restaurants even though there's, there's so many. Mostly. There's Ginger Moon here across the road. Very yeah. famous place for dumplings and the library also. So no shortage of absolutely beautiful, yes expensive restaurants in Sevignac. This street continues. It's the same same. Till we get further down. There's no alleyways and things that kick off. There was just a street up and down, isn't it? Yeah, further down is where you can find the bars and the clubs on the corner. On this street as on well? On this street as well. I know there's bars and clubs on the border of Seminyak and Legia as well. That's the other section of Seminyak. All right, so what do you reckon we get to the other section? All right, so we're heading back to our bike. Every now and then I will park in undercover parking. It's just easier. In Seminyak, this is one of the, again, one of the places in Bali where there's not much parking available, so it's a hard place to find park. It's also another place that just as Michelle and I have walked up and down the street, there's quite a few drug dealers selling drugs to people. Hello, how are you? They sell Valium and... Cocaine and marijuana and whatever else you want. Little blue pills. For a place that's got a war against drugs and you go, to, you, know, you go away for a long time, there's a lot of dealers here, which is really surprising and a little bit sickening. Whatever you do, please do not ever entertain the ideas, the idea of buying drugs here Never, in Bali because ever. there'll be a police officer waiting around. It's another scam and then you'll obviously go to jail for life. All right, quick detour for us. There's an entrance there. We're heading back inside the shopping centre. Michelle just leant against a, a motorbike that didn't have a guard on the exhaust and I think she's got a nice burn mark on the back of her leg. Show us your leg. Oh yeah, look, you can see it. So that's why you're supposed to have exhaust guards. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn this off, I'm on security and chase me again. How are you feeling now? Oh, thank God for the ice, but still very sore. Have a look at this culprit here. Look, no exhaust guard. Here, exhaust guard. Exhaust guard. We've got exhaust guards. It's very sore, but I am a tough cookie. I'll keep going. I'll show you Seminyak. Oh, let's hit the frog and toad. Let's go. Off we go. So um, we're heading to the section that I call the north side of Seminyak. That cost 40 cents only, that's pretty good. Alright, bye bye Seminyak Square. 
So maybe you were right that Seminyak is maybe, or Changu is going to be the new Seminyak in a way that is different sections. It's not just one big place as such. Yeah, keep watching for our Changu adventure. Yeah, yeah, this place is awesome. It's called Wakul Nazi. They have live music every night. They have a massive grass area. Beautiful is... food, beautiful drinks. Not overly expensive. Miraputi is another one of my favourite places here in Seminyak. So if you remember the name Miraputi, and where's that? Did we just go it. past it? No. Just that's want to tell everyone that's a must-go to place. You're Red on. Ruby nightclub, and then we should be coming to the W. Here's the W coming up on the left. If you haven't watched our W Starfish Blue buffet, there in the W is beautiful. And that's beachfront, isn't it? Yeah, that is. And this is Shishi. This is a nightclub. Never been there, but if you're interested in clubbing, oh, here we are. Here we are. So this is this is what we call sort of the next section. So we've been cruising yes. towards it. This place here, you may have seen in one of our videos. It's called Shooters. It is a really, really fun night out. And it's golf, shooting, yeah, yeah. Uh, games, food. And uh, where is it next door? We've got the for the gastro pub. So yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sure you don't get gastro there. What a funny name. You'll never forget it. But then there's Linglings next door, and that place yeah. goes off at night time. But also, it's a restaurant all day, and the food apparently is fantastic. And then if we if we ride a little bit further, we have this beautiful bar called York. Here it is. But would we say, yeah. It is open. Yeah, great place. York. For path riding. We are going to take you now to the beachfront area. One of the downfalls or pitfalls of Seminyak is the oh, traffic oh, oh. is always horrific. I will give Seminyak credit for having gorgeous shops. You go to Poppy's Lane too, yeah. or Garlic Lane. Again, travel from Seminyak to Kuda for all the bargains that you need if you want market shopping. If you're into the high-end shopping, of course, no need to go anywhere, Seminyak has it all here. So we've just popped into what I call the third street in Seminyak. This is the only street in Seminyak you drive all the way down it and at the very, very end is a beach. Mish, take I've us stayed, away, take us for I a tour. We have stayed on this street and we did really enjoy it. Here on the right is Frankenstein. I've yet to come here, oh. but I've heard wonderful things. It's a theatre restaurant, yep. really fun shows all the time. You can see on the street we've got markets and bars, sports bars and restaurants. We've got jewellery. Are there clubs massage. on this street as well? Yes. Uh, and they're rainbow clubs, aren't they? Rainbow clubs. And this place is, I've never been here, this is the G Club. Ithaca, this Greek restaurant looks amazing. <laughs> this is the place we love. This is Mixwell. Actually, what did I say? Mixwell. And then there's Bali Joe's and six bars. So there's three bars all in one there. Here, this place here, we've yeah. actually gone there and booked outings from that spot there. So they're really um, easy to negotiate with. This is the courtyard by Marriott. This is the Blue Zia here, another resort in the corner. This is the end of the street, pretty much your only access to the beach. There aren't many ways to get to the beach in Seminyak. At the very end, we're going to stop and eat there today and have lunch. It's a beautiful place called Godot Godot. We're going to take you for a walk on this beach and you'll see that there are you know, restaurants and morongs and day beds. It is an absolutely gorgeous stretch of beach. Welcome to Seminyak Beach. and hotels all so along this we're passing uh, through Godot Godot oh, right Godot, now Godot's there. Yeah. we're gonna find a parking do you want to go just have a ride and I'll just show a bit yeah right let's I'm gonna show you some awesome places on the beach yeah the Paris bar is good I've eaten there before uh, but that's where I ordered Nazi Garang and it cost $12 oh, I, okay. I almost fell but off my chair it was gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. you just need to be prepared to pay a little bit more the uh, special atmosphere that you find here on Seminyak Beach. Now, I love this place coming up here. Uh, didn't we come here with yes, family? we did. Yeah, yeah, that was fun in there, yeah. And that is La Planca, famous for beautiful umbrellas on the beach and bean bags. Yeah, as you can see, you know, my, the beach front here is just taken up by, you know, big hotels and big accommodations. But then again, if you stay in these places, when you leave the confines of the place, 
nowhere to go other than the beach and he Double needed six. cabs to place. Alright, so you in um, Godot, Godot. Just walking on a Seminyak beach, which is amazing. And Michi and I are going to take you for a walk along it after we have some lunch. And we really want to show you this place. Look, quick glimpse. Amazing beach. But this is Godot Godot. So um, they will serve you out here on the chairs. Well, I don't know if they serve you on those chairs. Yeah, they do actually, because we've eaten there. We've eaten here up on the decks as well. And they have some really good offers on, you know, uh, two for one cocktails, uh, two for one pizza, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And they're really good pizzas. They got tapas, they got burgers, two for one burgers. So it's actually an affordable option. But here we go. So you just come in up off the beach. You can walk through here. You can see, like I said, the deck area and then the big main restaurant area there. Hey, how are you? What we do have here is music pumping, which is really cool. But um, of course, we're going to put music over. Let's go for a walk. Okay, our food has just arrived. I can talk for a minute because there's just a beat going. So that's fish burger and that's Mrs. Chicken Burger. But and the salad as well. We didn't order any of this stuff. Oh, we're wrapped. Oh my God, that's more food than we're going to be able to eat. Oh my God, look at it. I could not recommend Ghetto Ghetto enough. It was spectacular. You've got to come here, all of you. You're in Seminole. It's a must. My burger was amazing. I had the fish burger, so it was actually a really well-made fish patty. It was nice and thick. What spun me out about this place was back home you order a burger and the culture in Australia has gotten to the point. So, oh, do you want fries with that? You always get fries with a burger, but now you have to pay for fries. These burgers that we got, did you see what they came with? It came with two different salads. It came with fries. It came with wedges. It came with different sauces. And, and it was two for one. Was, yeah, it was. And they were beautiful burgers, so we are absolutely wrapped. We, I, I couldn't recommend this place more highly. And the service is fantastic. 10 out of 10, ghetto, ghetto. Yeah. And, like I said, it's on the beach. We'll see you on the beach. Oh, finally back on the beach. I've been hanging to get on the beach today. How was your meal? It was $36. I think that was a good price to enjoy ghetto, ghetto on Seminyak Beach. Look, we did, a, we did a ride by before at the back of some of the uh, restaurant, were wrong places. We'll go and give you a quick walk because I think we're hanging again in the water, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Remember, one of the things that you need to do here that a lot of people forget to do is spend Spin. time. <laughs> spend time at the beach. Yeah. And if you come here, sunset, all these, all this beach, full of beanbags, full of chairs, cocktails flowing. Look, look at the piles of beanbags, look. All ready to make their way out. The young man's already setting up for the evening. So this is La Planta, yeah. famous for the colourful umbrellas, bean bags, yeah. sunset. We've been here a few times. Oh, look, and look. inside... I didn't know there was upstairs here. No way. Oh wow, like Mitch, you said, this place is known. Beautiful umbrellas. If you've seen any footage of Seminyak Beach, the sand is glistening. It's so soft. And someone, one of the comments recently spoke about litter on the beaches. This time of year, it's pristine. I think it's time to go to the beach. Hopefully, now you've seen where you can come when you enjoy Seminyak. You've seen some of the places that we go to in Seminyak. Mitch, party, party words. Cup of everyone. Seize the day. Peace out.